Hi hey guys, today's topic will be the best tension control for your paragliding towing range. Stay tuned. Go, 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 faster, faster! So this is my 5000 watt sports wrench. Uh, you can tow everything. <laughs> it's not only for the power gliding. You can tow, uh, you know, wakeboarding, uh, snowboarding, uh, everything. Yeah. Uh, it's very simple design, and I tow the mini van. Uh, you know, when you tow the mini van, you need a lot of power. Uh, it's it, it just like a, whenever you see the. People will fly the power motor doing some crazy uh, you know, echo movement. So they actually use very small size of the van. Uh, that's why when you when you use a minivan, you, you you require a lot of power. And I told the minivan with uh, you know the ozone zero. That's uh, 17 square meter, very small size van. <laughs> this is a pay in tow. You know, uh, very easy, strong. I can got I can got around 30 mile per hour with the minivan, and uh, also this is a you know when you do the payout, it's the same thing. It require more uh, you know tension control uh, on the on the payout tow for the minivan as well. Uh, okay, let's let, let's go back on the topic. So. Uh, will be the best tension control. Uh, you know, the very common one is the hydraulic tension control. Uh, so, like my uh, mini machine, uh, this is the hydraulic tension control right here. Uh, pretty much all your car is a uh, hydraulic brake. It's the same thing with this. Uh, it's very commonly on the market, very easy to find. Downside with hydraulic tension control is you actually have a maintenance. So by the time you have to change the rotor, you have to change the brake, you know, yeah, they definitely require maintenance. Because it, it's actually touch on each other, right? When they do the tension, they actually touch on each other. Yeah, that's a hydraulic tension control. And uh, on the really high end industry, they use uh, magnetic tension control. So what the magnetic tension control actually, uh, the most simple one is it's, uh, your exercise bicycle. You know, the exercise bicycle, you know, put it indoor. They actually use, uh, you know, this kind of magnet. So when you put the magnet together, if you hold, you know, that's the tension. But control, By control the distance between the two magnets, you can control the tension. So that's the really low end magnet control. You know, pretty much all, pretty much the uh, the exercise basically use that as kind of tension control. Uh, but uh, for the manufacturing, for the really high end, they they not really control the magnets by the distance. You know. They uh, control the magnet power by uh, use the electric. Because whenever electric current goes through the coil, will generate 
magnet. So they can control the electric to uh, generate, you know, enough magnet to control the tension. That's how they work for the magnetic tension control. They, they control the electric to control the magnet power. So, and uh, go back on my range. So this is a, uh, this is a kind of new, but it's not really new. Uh, it's called a Regan brake. So the Regan brake has a tension control. Actually, it's perfect. <laughs> So the, basically the regenerative brake is uh, uh, you just think about the, the motor is can be used like a generator. So whenever you spin the motor, the motor will generate the electric. So that's a regenerative brake. How that work? Whenever the motor got speed, so you can use a regenerative brake to uh, to generate. Uh, uh, electric go back to your uh, battery. So whenever you use a Regan brake, you actually you know charge on your battery. So, so basically, the Regan tension control is the same thing with uh, magnetic uh, tension control. It's also you know controlled by the electric. But those kind of tension control, because there are no actually things touch on each other, so. So basically, they're maintenance free, and they will last much, much longer than uh, hydraulic tension control. Yeah, that's how you compare to, uh, you know, the tension control mostly commonly, most commonly used on the market. You know, and uh, I hope you got some better idea to build your own range. <laughs> okay, let's talk about more detail on my uh, uh, 5000 watt range. This is my 5,000 watt hub motor, and this is a 20 inch dish. And uh, you have a cover, you know, you have cover, and uh, you have uh, four way uh, uh, fire lead. And you hook up direct to your two inch uh, trailer hitch. Get some more detail. So there's a uh, throttle and uh, voltage indicator. This is a, your regain controller. So regenerative brake controller to control the tension right here. And also there have on off switch right here. And then that's your controller. So current I link to uh, my uh, battery link, so you can hook up three batteries, I mean three uh, 80, 80 volt batteries right here, and uh, you can show by the circuit break. So basically, if you just doing <coughs> the payout tool, you don't really need uh, that much power, because uh, whenever you you do the payout, you actually charge the battery. So by, by doing the payout, you only need one battery, just uh, retrieving the lines. And uh, if you do the pay-in toll, uh, you have to use the three battery to get enough current. And yeah, I just want to show you the quick show you and hook up one battery and turn on the circuit brake and uh, turn on the uh, Turn on the switch, and then uh, if I give a little throttle, you don't move, you know, because I, I don't want to move too much right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, just quick showing. Yeah, basically, if, if you just want to do the pay auto, it's very simple setup. Just uh, any kind of small battery you, you, you have, any uh, power tool battery, and I uh, have all kind of adapter for those. You can just order. Uh, any adapter and hook up very small battery you can use this as a PR towing. Yeah. But for the uh, state stationary towing, like uh, pay in tow, you need at least three batteries to get enough current. And uh, you can use the uh, Eagle uh, fifty six volt battery.
So this uh, current work, 80 volt battery, uh, both are work work fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's my machine, and I uh, uh, hope you learned something today, and uh, maybe a build a better uh, towing range. Wow, the sky is very beautiful. I said the sky is very Ha 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 